Hi Sunshine Sparkle Faces, it's me, Mother Sparkles. Alright, so today's video is going to be on my one month post op breast augmentation video, which, you know, I talk about the girls which look, you know, they look really good right now. So every time I see someone on the streets, they always ask me, how are you feeling pain-wise? Is there any pain on your chest? How do you feel so far? To answer that question, there's no more pain anywhere. I can lift my arms now, I can reach for the skies, I can exercise now but I'm not like going out of my way to do these kind of things like I'm not going on monkey bars and trying to like you know do chin-ups and stuff like no I'm not doing that I'm just you know living my daily life and yeah one month post-op you're like more than okay to do anything you want one thing I'm super excited about is being able to sleep sideways because that's how I sleep I sleep on the side like I can't I can't lay flat straight up and just sleep that way. I don't know why. I just gotta have a wiener pillow. That's what I call it. Like a pillow between my legs and I just like hug it. I guess I'm a loner like that. Like I have no one to cuddle with at any time. So I did say I would post a picture of my um, chest before my surgery in my last video. So I will do that right now. I will post a picture for you guys so you guys can kind of see the difference. So I was wearing a 32A bra. In some other bras I would fit a 32B. So that's what I had. I was very small. I mean, there's lots of ways to make your boobs look bigger, which I want to make a video on because I think it's so... I guess it's not that taboo anymore. A lot of people talk about like how to enhance the size of your breasts and how to make them bigger. Some guys don't like it because apparently it's a trap and you're just tricking them. But as a transgender woman who wants to pass, you know, in the daily life, in the daily world, we have things that we gotta do. We gotta tuck, we gotta tape. It's just brutal. So I want to share some of my tips and tricks on how I made my breasts look bigger in, you know, some instances. For swelling wise, I feel like I have a lot more to go. I mean, it seems a little bit stiff and a little bit hard still, but you know, it takes around three to six months for it to fully settle down and be in its normal state. So I, I think they're still trying to drop and stuff. So yeah. In my last video, a lot of people asked the question, why did I get the incision under my armpit rather than under the boob? To be honest, I think it's all about personal preference, you know, how you want things done. It's all up to you. And I just think that under the armpit, like the crease, a lot of people wouldn't be able to see it. So say if you're like to go nude or something, like I don't think the scar is very attractive to be honest. I have a lot of friends who got their breast augmentation and they always tell me that they regret the incision under their boob because it leaves like a nasty scar and you can see it and it just feels uncomfortable for them. Also my doctor recommended getting under the armpit as well so I trusted him and I trusted my own instincts and what I wanted to get done. Otherwise, I don't know what to talk about. Everything is going fine. My recovery is well. I don't feel any more pain or soreness. So I would say this is definitely so worth it. The most, you know, pain you'll ever feel is the first three days and that's about it. After that, you're like good to go. Everything seems a-okay and I'm just very happy about that. Oh, and I want to give you guys a heads up on a video that I am working on. It's for my 250,000 subscriber milestone. So I want to do like a special video giving back to some of you guys out there who have been watching me for a very long time now. And I'm just so grateful. You guys have no idea that that much people would listen to what I have to say. It just really means so much to me. So I'm working on a video right now and I'm just going to be filming all week about something that... I want to do for some of you guys. But that is all for my one month post up breast augmentation video. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I can't wait for you guys to see my 250,000 subscribers special video. So uh, stay tuned for that. I hope you all are doing well. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Mwah.